trying to control them, but he's trying to bring a new order to this nation. A new order. The world is trying to bring it in. Come on, pray. Pray like your child. Your child in the name of God. Hallelujah. We have the power. He said, uh, through the prophetic word, he said, 
said, I've saved the best people for last before I come. Look at yourself. He sees something he's put in you that you're going to change every place that you go. That the, I'm talking about you've got enough God in you that people want to turn to God. They're going to feel the wind of the Spirit. i got pictures of us in the upper room. And they're laying on the floor. They're laying up against the buildings. Here's, here's your husband. He's sitting in the floor up against the wall. You want to see it. I got a picture of the sycamore tree here. It's in Jericho where Jesus come walked by and said, Come down. I'm coming to your house today. He was at Nathaniel. He said to him, I'm sitting there looking at this tree in Jericho. There wasn't hardly any tourists there. But the girls that I took over there wanted to go there. And I saw this tree and it was engaged. It was encased in glass, and I said, what is this tree? He said, it's a sycamore tree. Yeah. Well, the sycamore tree was highly involved in 9-11, when we yeah. heard the story. But I got a picture of it. The remains, after 2,000 years, now I'm in front of it, so it looks strange looking. Here's a part of it, the, the base of it. It's still there. God leaves a testimony of what he does. And God's let me see this. I was in Ethiopia when Idi Amin was escaping for his life, and God woke me up that morning and said, leave this country immediately. I was in Russia when they burned the White House down. What are you saying? He'll let you see what he's doing. You'll be a part of history being made. Part of the eternal thing is coming to pass. But you take advantage of it. Don't think it's not important. We have important moments right here in this room. Are you listening? All of you are in here. These are moments of eternity, and we have to make use of it. So let the change come. We, who's on the Lord's side? Yeah. Joshua yeah. said that. Come on, Moses. Who's on the Lord's side? Yeah. Who's on? He said, as for me and my house. Yeah. You know, I think I'll get me a big picture painted and put it on the front of my house. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Jesus. Put a Jesus on it, honey. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I got several. One of the ladies there, I got a picture if somebody wants to look at it. I know they never prayed like this before, but I turned and I caught it on a camera. Look at the faces of these ladies. And one lady had a look on her face and I, I was like, I just, everything in me opened. And I thought, I didn't get it, I gave it to the lady and didn't keep the negative. These were taken on, these were taken with one of the old cameras. I thought, if I had ever wondered what God looked like, this woman looks like God. I saw an expression on her face that I've never seen before. Everything within her was crying out to God. I hadn't seen her in 15, 18 years. Wondered where she was. And I go home, and I got a voicemail. This is Naomi. Remember me? I went with you to Israel. I called her right back. I remember you. I've been talking to God about you for two days. Amen. What have you been talking about? I remember the fellowship we had. Come on. Amen. The experience we have. God wants you to have an experience that you can call the rain down or you can close the heavens. Come on. We need power with God because of what's coming against us. Amen. What is all around us? Are you hearing what I'm saying? If most of these women that are out by themselves would get the Holy Ghost. And when their attacks start praying in tongues, that man's going to run for his life. Come on. I'm telling you there's power in your tongue. There's power in speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my God. The hospitals would be filled up if we prayed more and fast more. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. It breaks the yokes off of you. It heals. Come on. He says he draws things together. He builds things up. Read Isaiah 58. Is this not the fast? Is this the fast that I've called for? We kind of read it wrong sometimes. God is looking for a people that know him. And when you fast, honey, the natural man gets weak, but the spirit gets strong. The spirit gets strong. How many want that? Just take a meal here and a meal there and say, Lord, I've given this to you. My children are not saved. Hallelujah. This neighborhood is not saved. Lord, I don't see, I see all these cars every Sunday morning. 
And I go up and down the road. God, get the people in these cars and get them going. Get them going. Get them in the cars. God, wake them up. Don't let them sleep. Wake them up. Come on, you. The Lord told us the truth. I want you to know a worth of a soul. You know what that means? She was ready to marry a man she didn't even love, so he would escape hell. She came home wanting a forwarding word from the Lord, whether she should marry the man or not. And I saw the wedding bands on her finger in the wrong places. I thought, she's not thinking about getting married. I told her what I saw. She said, the mother came to him and said, take my son with you to Israel because he's going to kill himself in drugs. And she got him there, and after two months, he wanted to come home. And she couldn't let him come home, but she knew he'd come back to drugs. And there was just a few years in their age, and she said, Lord, what, uh, what should I do? Should I marry this man? I'm not ready to do that yet. Come on. But listen, when you see what God has done on the cross, yes. what God has done for you and me, how many of you when he lived with a heavy burden of sin off of you? Yes. Oh, nothing Jesus. mattered. You weren't concerned about anything anymore. It didn't matter how bad things were. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm saying pray for this nation like it's the end of time. Yes. Because there's souls that are not saved yet. Yes. They're not saved. Oh, Jesus, thank you for your healing power, your salvation. You're working of miracles. Lord, I see you coming by all of these people. Lord, I'm asking you for a, a visitation on Nancy Pelosi, on the squad, in Jesus' name. Come on, agree with me. There's power and agree with God. Give them a dream. Give them a dream. Give them a dream. Give them a vision. Give them a, a, a wake-up call. God, send an angel. Send a, send a raven. Send something. Hallelujah. Send an eagle. Come on. Thank you for what you're doing. Let the light keep shining up on him. Give him that stride in his walk. God, give him that capacity to wake with new strength every morning. God, give him angels on the right and on the left before him and behind him. Let nothing, not a hair on his head. Let nothing, in other words, be hidden from his sight that he needs to know. Let him know details. Make this country aware. Let the planes stay in the air. Come on. Let the boats stay in the water. God, keep our children from danger, from harm, as they go to school and come home. Lord, when they're out in college, put an arm of protection around them. Come on, pray for this country. We need to pray. We need to pray and say, nonsense, go down the road. Hallelujah. Nonsense, go down the road. Lord, let them be a hearing in their ear of what is truth and what is right and what is good in this young generation. I thank you, Lord, for protection in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for praying people. Lord, let it be heard there's bending knees in Washington, D.C. Lord, they're going in the morning, in the noontime, in the evening, even three times a day. Lord, let there be a prayer meeting. A prayer meeting. I thank you, Lord, they'll have angel encounters. Lord, they'll have living creatures encounters. Every man and every woman that's there. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Lord, let us see. Let us see in the depths that we haven't seen in before. That we can see what lurks, what hides, what is hidden. Lord, let us see. Let us be on call. And let us declare the goodness, the greatness of the purpose of the Lord over our children. Every day, Lord, our grandchildren. Lord, let us declare it over them that you are Lord and you are on the throne. God, you're high and holy and lifted up in our sight. Even to the sinner be high and lifted up. In Jesus' name. Let every devil flee. Every man is not speaking truth. Lord, you are the way, the truth, and the light. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Glory to the Lamb of God. 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 Hallelujah. 
praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We, praise you. we stand with what is good, what is pure, what is righteous. Lord, every man that's lost his life, bringing the law into this country, Lord. Everyone that's pioneered, God, they left their families behind, suffering as they travel. God, you know they're buried along the way, that they can see the end of the journey across this nation. God, we thank you for every sacrifice. Lord, you said the first would be last, and the last would be first. We give you praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to know what he, how many know what he's talking about when he said the first would be last, and the last would be first? How many knows what that means? If you don't know, raise your hand, and I'll tell you what it is. The Jews were first, and they become last. And now they're becoming first, and we're going to be last. It's the end, almost the end of the Gentile era. And they're coming in, and they're coming in with such joy, such victory. The synagogue in New York, if you have direct TV, they have a service every Friday night and Sunday. And they sing the songs you've never see. I don't have it now because I switched to this. You can't believe they get guitars and clarinets and accordions, and they sing the songs of Zion from the Book of Psalms. Isn't God good? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to believe that God is going to bring victory and deliverance to this country. Yes. God, you know, and when Bush came into office. God spoke to me in the night that he was going to be our next president. And I saw his face in Mount Rushmore. And another girl saw it. His face was carved in Mount Rushmore. And that's something. Because he was a praying man. And you don't know where God will send you and what he will do. I want to say something to everybody in this room. Don't give up. I don't care how it looks. How it is. You think it's a long time, but eternity is just a moment.